right, Gemini, I'm sorry about that. So the blockages is the fear, right? Which is moon, the moon, which is um, Pisces energy, the subconscious mind, right? Not letting your fears of not being able to trust a person. Trusting your intuition, basically, with the high priestess, right? The blockage is not trusting your intuition here, okay? Not, um, this is the shadow, right? The subconscious, the, the, what's hidden, secrets coming to light is, it can link, it can be linked to fears. And that's the blockage here, okay? So the, the message here is you're carrying this huge burden because you're waiting for something to manifest for you, Le releasing, releasing the burdens, spending time alone, going within. There is silence right now. Overthinking too much in your head here is causing a huge burden for you regarding this connection and regarding this new beginning that's about to manifest here for you. Um, it's time to retreat. Retreat from the people in your life. Retreat from the gossip. Retreat from... So you can so you can release this burden here, okay? This burden is is not yours to carry, is what I'm hearing. Not yours to carry. So trusting yourself, trusting what you know, trusting your intuition, surrendering to the divine, allowing things to unfold naturally, allow the situation to unfold naturally here, okay, can really help you to um, clear your head here. So you can follow your soul's guidance. Huge message. The blockage you are getting in your own way here. So the blockage is you releasing the, this burden here. So you can allow this happiness to come into your life. Regarding your love life. Okay. With this king of passion. This king of love. He wants your forgiveness. And he's getting ready to take action. He's hoping that you will forgive him. Because this is a deep soul mate connection that you have with somebody. Trust that. Trust that feeling. Trust what you already know as the high priestess here. Okay? Um, things are going to get ready to be revealed to you. Let's get um, a final advice here from Spirit. Spirit, what is the final advice for Gemini? Final message for Gemini. TikTok. That's, that's the problem, right? The waiting. The, time, the timing. You, you're wanting... Things are going to manifest in divine timing, not a t not the timing according to your ego, okay? When you're wanting the control, let go of control. Now, when you're wanting things to manifest, things that, things take time for a reason. Trust in divine timing, trust in divine detours. Let me read this from the book for you. Tick tock, the time is now. 29, I open almost right to it, you guys. Come through, spirit. The relationship... It says this is a relationship reading, so the relationship messages. Again, I want to emphasize this. It's a huge burden. This whole situation has been a huge burden. You're putting in a lot of work. You're not asking for help. You're doing things yourself. Relief is coming, okay? If you learn to trust and re you got to let go or your person is carrying a huge burden because they have this suppressed emotions here that they're not revealing, because of this, 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 this is time apart. But somebody has discovered, went within and they did the healing work and discovered how they really feel here. And that this is a, a, a soulmate connection. That you are their everything, their, their wish fulfillment. Your wishes are about to come true. That's the star card. Deep healing, surrendering to deep healing in this connection. Somebody wants to come back, come back and heal this connection with you. Don't lose faith, don't lose hope. Somebody's feeling... Somebody's starting to feel hopeful, okay, regarding this connection. TikTok. Love. The fulfillment of desire and even the body's reproductive cycles have their own timetable. Some things are preordained and cannot be coerced. Everything has its season. It's divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Remember that you, are, that you always have enough time for love. To find it, to nurture it, to give and receive it. Its clock is eternal and ticks according to the beating of your heart. Remember I mentioned this is all going to manifest for you depending on your vibration. Act as if. Practice the law of attraction, right? Act as if it's already here. Act as if it's already yours, right? Don't look at the clock. 
it, it's an illusion. Time is very deceptive, okay, and it is an illusion. So um, release the need to know when and how and, and all of that, right? Because it's causing a blockage for you, the blockage here. It's causing um, delays in your manifestation, okay? Um, I want to give you guys a bonus here since your since that reading got cut off in the middle of the ending here. So, um, Spirit, what does Gemini's person want to say to them right now? If they, their higher self, if they could say anything to them right now, what would it be? Gemini's love interests. A message for Gemini from Gemini's love interests. A message for Gemini from Gemini's love interests. A message for Gemini. Yeah. I am restless and anxious. That's probably that's what I'm saying. That's not your burden to carry. This is somebody else's energy. You are you're this is this person. If you're feeling if you're starting to feel restless and anxious, that's because you're picking up on their energy. Okay? So do energy clearing meditation. Use the meditation in the description box below to, to align to exactly with what you want. Because it's requiring patience. Once you start to tapping into your intuition here, you'll be able to relax and feel that inner peace because the divine is communicating with you. Okay? I don't know how to express myself. Somebody's figuring this out here. With the, with the Two of Wands and the Seven of Cups. And the second that they do, they're going to take action towards you and express how they feel about you here. It's mutual. They love you too. Okay? You're not the only one alone in love here. Because this person can't stop thinking about you. I can't stop thinking about you. Okay? Um, that's what your person wants to say to you. You're magnetically attracting this person in. They feel it with the, with the, with the King... King of Wands here and the High Priestess. You guys are telepathically communicating with each other. That's why I said it's not your it's not your burden to carry your your whatever heavy dense dense energy that you're feeling that's keeping you confused, right? Ruminating thoughts, things like that. Um, you're picking up on this person's energy because you're connected in the spiritual realm. Okay, my loves, that's what's making you feel trapped here. So do the energy clearing work, cut cutting uh, energetic cords. You're not cut, you're not releasing the love. You're just releasing the toxicity surrounding this connection, and do the real healing work here because the sun wants to come out for you. Okay. All right, you guys. I love you guys. I'm so sorry again about that. I'm trying to figure out my technology situation here with my storage space. Um, it's frustrating me. <laughs> But I am um, being patient about it, okay? And that's the, the message here for you guys, okay? I love you guys. Mwah! Please um, like, share, and subscribe. And um, don't forget to reach out to me if you'd like to a more personalized reading, if this is resonating. All right, take care. Bye-bye.